Okay guys, so today we're gonna to make an automation that creates hooks and titles for all of our social platforms like YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and LinkedIn using make.com, Notion, ChatGPT, and Perplexity. Now this is gonna be a first part of a multiple part series where we learn how to automate our entire content creation process. Today we're gonna to learn how to use a basic trigger, how to connect your Notion database to your make.com account, and how to create official prompts for ChatGPT and Perplexity. So here we have the automation. This is how it's going to look in the end. This is the end result in make.com. And here we have our Notion template. It's a bit more complex, but this is the database where we're going to store all of our results from make. So we're going to store our hooks and our titles for YouTube, LinkedIn, Instagram, and TikTok. Now, let's dive right in and see how we are going to actually build that automation in make.com. So we're going to build our automation from scratch. First of all, we're going to need a basic trigger module. You can find it in the tools section here, or even here if you click this basic trigger. Now, uh, why do we need a basic trigger? It is going to act as a switch button for us, so as an action button in order to run the whole automation. How are you going to set it up? Well, you just actually need to add an item, name it whatever you want. I named it trigger and the value Again, whatever you want, I put the value to true. Now, in order for this to act as a button, first of all, we're gonna need a router for this full automation. You're gonna have to set up a filter between the tools, basic trigger module and the router. And of course, again, you can name it whatever you want. The condition is the trigger has to be equal to its value. So to true in this, uh, in this instance, so that every time we run it once, it is going to go through this filter and flow from some uh, in this whole uh, automation. Okay, now they have the basic trigger set. We're gonna go to the router branch. We're gonna need three branches. One for YouTube, one is gonna be for Instagram and TikTok, and one is going to be for our LinkedIn. For the YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok one, we're gonna use create a completion for ChatGPT. And for the LinkedIn one, we're gonna use a perplex to create the completion. So, you can find this by typing ChatGPT here. And this is the create a completion prompt module. You're going to need two of these. And you're going to need one perplexity one. Create a chat completion for the LinkedIn again. Uh, I advise to change their name over here. I'm not going to change them right now. But you can do that in order for you to um, know exactly which module or which platform is and it's going to be easier for you to track errors or to reiterate in the future. Now, if we go to the first uh, to the first branch for the YouTube automation, the model is always going to be the ChatGPT for all right now. If you watch this uh, in the future, it's going to be maybe GPT 5.0, I don't know. But for now, it's 4.0. And max talk on the girl being around the 1000 because we are outputting uh, titles and hooks which are pretty short and you do not need a lot, a lot of tokens for that the results should be again pretty short and we're gonna need two messages one is going to be a system message and one is going to be a user message now let's see how we're gonna write these prompts for these messages for the prompts i used another website which is called pedo.com which is a prompt generator. So you can write your uh, idea, like create hooks for my Instagram, hit generate, and it's going to create you a pretty well-structured prompt. First of all, it's gonna give you a persona, the tasks, some guidelines, and maybe some examples at the end. So this is a very, very good site uh, in order for you to create pretty complex and pretty well-structured prompts for whatever completions you need in you know, main.com or not even main.com, ChatGPT in general, or even perplex. For the YouTube one, we're going to use this prompt for the system. Sounds like this. You're a seasoned YouTube content strategist with over 10 years of experience crafting engaging in SEO optimized video titles. Your expertise lies in creating titles that not only grab attention, but also encourage viewers to click, ensuring they capture the essence of the video while incorporating relevant keywords effectively. So this is going to be the persona of our own of our uh, GPT assistant. It's going to be the task. It's to generate creative and compelling uh, and captivating titles for my YouTube videos. And here are some details about the content that I'm actually creating. So 
the video focus, the type of video, target audience, the SEO words, and tone or style preferences. Of course, you can actually iterate this and change whatever you want based, uh, based on your niche or uh, your audience or so on and so forth. And after that, we're going to give him some guidelines, like <clears throat> only output the title with no, uh, with no commas, because I want it to be cleaner in our content banner. And he gave him some examples in order for him to get inspired from some very good examples from uh, some good titles that I found on, on YouTube. Now, we need a second message. The role is going to be the user. And the message is going to be this. I want to create three different titles based on different topics for my personal YouTube and space them with an empty line in between each one. So it's going to be like a pretty, pretty basic um, user message because we have instructed him in the system pretty well on how to structure this whole information, how to output the result. And this is the first um, create a completion for the YouTube SEO titles. Now we're going to move to Instagram and TikTok one again. It's almost the same. Tragic P4 system max talk is again a 1000. And two messages again. One is going to be a user agent, firstly for the system agent. And after that, the user agent. Now, the system prompt looks like this. You're creating social media strategies with a knack for crafting compelling hooks that captivate audiences with years of experience in writing engaging scripts for Instagram and TikTok video. Your, you excel at capturing the essence of complex topics, making them relatable and intriguing. It is going to be pretty similar to the user one, of course, because I use the same, uh, same website. But it is going to have some other examples and some other guidelines over here. The user message is going to be, again, pretty simple. Create three quotes. Amigas or on Instagram and TikTok counts. Pretty simple because we instructed him in the system message. And after that, we have the perplexity one, create chat completion. Max talk is again 1000. Here it's a bit, a bit different. First off, you have the content and then the role, but it's the same thing. We're going to need a uh, system message and after that we're going to need a user message so this is the message you're gonna be this your creative social media strat uh, strategies with a knack for crafting compelling hooks that captivate audiences is going to be eerily similar to the instagram and tiktok one but what you will see here is that i divided that system prompt from ChatGPT in like two parts the first part the persona and some tasks i'm going to input in the system message in the system prompt and the second part with uh, examples and tone, for example, I'm going to input in the user prompt. I use this because I saw that it's going to make a better output this way. You can actually play with it, see what's best for you, but I saw that this one works the best for me. And the user content looks like this. I want to create three different hooks for my personal LinkedIn and space them with an empty nine in between each other. Here we have the tone and here are some specific examples that I have uh, that I've collected from, uh, from some LinkedIn accounts. So this is about it with the perplexity one. Now we have completed all of the creative completion modules. All we have to do now is transfer the results into our database in Notion, our content planning database. And how are you actually gonna do that? We will need a Notion module, more specifically create a database item. We're gonna, we're gonna need three of these for each, uh, or for each branch of our route. So first of all, you're going to need to connect your Notion to your ring.com. You're going to do this by clicking this button, add, connection type, internal, and making it in your Notion. Let me, let me actually show you how you can do it. You have these three dots over here. Down here, you have to connect to manage connections, go to connections, down develop or manage integrations. Here, it's going to open you, open you a new window. You have new integration. Associate what is your workspace here with the name, whatever. And it's going to be internal. You save it and it's actually going to give you a key here. You have to put this key in this connection where you're going to make add for the name and you're going to, it's going to request you that. You're going to put that key and you connect into Notion. Now, or the database, you're going to need the database ID. How are you collecting this? So the data, 
Space IT, you are finding right here. Let's see, this is your, um, listen, this is your, um, your database. You're gonna open it as a page. And after that, here in the URL, you're going to find this code. C55, etc. It's between the forward slash and the question mark. This is going to be your database ID. You copy it and you are going to put it there. And you're going to see that is actually going to connect to your database. After that, the name is going to be always the result. The platforms the, in this system is going to be YouTube. Assign me status. Yep. And this is about if for each of these created database items. Oh, no. Actually copy that. Paste. Paste it again for each module. And just change the results. Here, the title is going to be this result and platform TikTok Instagram. And for the LinkedIn one, it is going to be the perplexity AI result, which you are going to find here at choices, message, and content. And of course, this is LinkedIn. And this is the whole automation. It's again, pretty simple, pretty basic. Let's try one and see how it actually performs. So you see that the basic figure did its thing. We created a competition for YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and now for LinkedIn. If we go back over here, you are going to see that it has outputted us some answers for YouTube, LinkedIn, Instagram, and TikTok. Now, these are the hooks and the titles. These are the results. Of course, you can uh, play with the prompts from each module in order to get different results. Maybe this is not the best way you can do it. I mean, certainly it's not the best way you can do it. Or outputting um, hooks and titles that are actually really good. But I tried my best. I'm going to keep trying to find some new prompts that actually output more valuable hooks and titles. But this is um, this has been the first part of the series for our content creation. And the second part is going to be another automation that is going to help us in our um, in stream, streamlining our content creation process. So, see you there. Hope you like this video. If you have any questions, please put them down below. Have a nice day.